have a little perspective. So my dream girl has some baggage. There's other dream girls. That cash who stole my identity, remember that? So I think we're obligated to harness this power for our own personal gain. Uh, it's just no party tricks. I'm not saying party tricks. I'm saying what? Read some girls' minds? I'm telling you, girl, you got to do what you got to do. I know. Play some Texas Hold'em, right? What? No, no. Down that. You could help me find the future Mrs. Bay. No. I got it. Don't say it. Two minutes. No, no, no. I got it. You want me to go downstairs? Yeah. No, you're not going to give up? No, I'm not. So come right back up here. She's not going anywhere. Come on, you gotta help me. Oz, Oz, I listen, man. You can't tell anybody about this, okay? okay? I won't. But come on, when you have a friend who can actually read people's minds, it's just certain things a brother's gotta know. Last time, I promise. There's a girl in my dreams right there. I've been coming in here for weeks. I just gotta be sure. Right? She likes. She flirts with me like crazy. She's a bartender. And that's what she does. Eh, it's more than that. I know it. First round's on me. Hey, Leslie. A couple beers, please. Oz, man. Where have you been, Katie? I missed you. Here we go, another night of small talk. Me and my boy Toby there are just uh, getting into some trouble tonight. Probably hit on after hours. You interested? Uh, you know that I would, but I've got to close, and I have an early Pilates class tomorrow. Mm. Next time, though, you better tip well from the time I spend. Thanks, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Yeah, she's into me, right? She's totally into she's you. She's totally into me. She's got, she's got real baggage, though. That's what I got. I wouldn't go there. Baggage? You get all that from, from the. That'll be six dollars, please. Baggage. Really? Yeah. I've been looking for you. I'm Mina. I'm Toby. What can I do for you, Toby? Um, answer one question for me. Shoot. What's your favorite movie? Princess Bride. Okay, Under the Giant. It's okay. Favorite band? Uh, you probably wouldn't know them. Try me. The Replacements. I uh, have a place to meet me at home on vinyl. You should hear it. I would love to. Hey, Mina! Who's that, a friend of yours? No. This one more thing I have to deal with. Just don't go anywhere. Man, baggage everywhere tonight. It's like a baggage claim center in here. Hey, come on, it's Saturday night. It's not even midnight yet. We should be out. You got this whole night in. Come dance with me. I hope you dislocate something. Hey, what happened to your friend there? He's gone. place yep the rent's kind of crazy but it's got everything a girl needs mm -hmm. AC a walk-in closet fine, fine. and most importantly more wine yummy really really great taste I'm really great for noticing I know what is this that nothing that's just, <laughs> just, 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 just that's wine work stuff So where were we? We were uh, right here somewhere. It's probably just a drunk neighbor locked himself out.
What? Mina. Go away, Jason. You can't treat me like this. Like what? Just let me come up so we can work this out. Not tonight, Jason. Hey, do you want me to go take care of that? No. I have to. Do you ever feel like everything's coming down on you? All the time. But you gotta do the right thing. No matter how much it hurts, right? Absolutely. Toby, I've got some stuff I have to deal with before I can get involved with anyone. You know? Everything cool? It will be. I had a fantastic night. Me too. Just give me a couple of days to work things out. Then I'll be free. Yeah, I'll be free. All yours. All yours. understand you just left the timing wasn't right the timing is always right I can't believe you can read this girl's mind and you still didn't seal the deal she's got a lot on her mind and you know what sometimes reading a girl's thoughts kind of ruins the mood so don't listen I can't help it sometimes intense thoughts kind of break through even when I'm not trying that sucks yeah well Mina's got to deal with her ex she's got my number she's gonna call me we're gonna hang out and I'm gonna have her undivided attention you know I still think I you're... I know what you think, Alice. All times. 1090 King of Church. King of Church. Too late, fellas. The neighbor saw the body from upstairs and called it in. Got a minute? Uniform tells me you know the victim. Met her at a club last night. And? And we came back here, we had a few drinks. And? And nothing. We talked, we danced a little, her ex showed up, and I split. Her ex, you see him? No. Get his name? Jason. Jason what? So you didn't have sex? No, just met. So? So we didn't have sex. I'm gonna need some DNA from you. Sure. Detective. Dr. Farrell, this way. Don't go anywhere. Oh, God. The victim's a 26-year-old female, Mina De La Croce, preliminary looks like. Uh, I'm not here officially. Mina's one of my pathologists. She works with Brenda and me. I'm sorry. So what are we looking at? We're not finished up yet, but there's bruising on the neck. Petechial bleeding. Strangulation. Any thoughts? Me like now. Oh, God. This is so horrible. Brenda, you don't have to be here if you don't want to. When was the last time you saw Mina? Uh, yesterday at the morgue. She left around six. Did she say where she was going? Mina didn't talk much about her private life. Okay, thank you. We can talk later. I told you not to go anywhere. I'm right here. Tell me about the boyfriend. There is no more. What do he look like? I don't know. I saw him for 10 seconds across a dark club. 
You said he turned up at Mina's. Yeah, and I said I didn't see him. They talked over the intercom. What time was that? 3.30, maybe 4. Did she buzz him in? Not while I was there. Maybe later? I don't know. I have no idea. They said they needed to work things out. So why did you leave? Because she told me to. That's it, hey? That's it. You know where to find me. No, I should have stayed. What? Well, she told me to leave, but I saw something and I thought something that wasn't right. Yeah, you said she was fighting with her ex, right? Yeah. And look, it's messed up, but this is not your fault. You didn't do anything. I know, but if I had stayed, maybe she'd still be alive. Well, do something now. Help the cops. What am I going to do? I'm going to tell the cops that I saw what Mina was thinking? Yeah, it's not going to work. So, um, it's easy. You just track down the ex-boyfriend, you tune in or whatever you do, and you, you, you find out why he killed him. It doesn't work like that, you know? Um, I only hear what they're thinking when they think it, you know? If someone's eating a good sandwich, that's all I get, really. Good sandwich. This is a really good sandwich. Ah, uh, but you knew that already. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I got it. Hi, you need help? Okay, let me see this here. Yeah, you have a peanut allergy, eh? Yeah, muffins, that'll do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, try to stay calm. You see one of these before? This is gonna clear your airways, okay? All right. Okay, just breathe. Just breathe. Okay, what's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. It's nice to meet you. I'm Oswa. Call me Oz if you like. The fact that we're having this conversation means the epinephrine's working, so go team. I figures. I thought I had my injector, but I must have forgot it. I feel like, like such an idiot. It's okay. It's okay. Accidents happen. Okay, now you may experience some sweating, palpitations, and nausea. That's okay. Don't worry. I have that effect on most women. Now, why don't you let us take you in and get you checked out? That's my ride over there, okay? Sounds good. Okay. There you go. Good. No more muffins. I just saw Oz. He's in a good mood. Oh, yeah, he's in a great mood. He was playing night shunning arm with a peanut allergy. Let me guess. She's cute and tall. Four or five inches taller than him. It's ridiculous. You gotta admire a guy who knows what he wants. That's what I hear. So I hear you were with Mina last night. Yeah. You know her? Just by phone. We talk to the morgue all the time. It's terrible. You know her very long? Yeah, long enough for the cops to make me a suspect. You're kidding. I had to give him my DNA. Oh my god. Well, I, you know, it's not surprising. I met her at a club and I went back to her place. Do I want to hear more? Liv, nothing happened. <laughs> I talked to her and I left. That was it. Did she ever mention a boyfriend? We only talk business. Why? Well, I think she's having problems with a guy. And you blame yourself for not protecting her. She never mentioned anything. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. It's not your fault, you know. Hey. Hey. Uh, these are for you. Injectors? Yeah. You know, I figure this way you, you have one in uh, every room of the house. In your kitchen, or your bathroom, your bustier. I think you mean boudoir. What did I say? That's very sweet of you. Thanks. <sighs> yeah. So no visitors? My family's in Pennsylvania. You don't have a your boyfriend? Or your husband didn't show up? Or? I just transferred from New York. I'm the VP of a and at VCY Records. Oh, cool. Wow. a and You don't know what that is, do you? No. Artists and repertoire. I oversee all the execs at a big record company. Oh, you do music. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, me too. I mean, not like you know, professionally. Me and my cousins, we noodle around. I play the oud. 
Osman, did you come here to ask me out? No, 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 I wouldn't. Uh, that, that's, uh, that, would, that would be unprofessional. Because if you did, I would say yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Look, I, I don't know what the rules are about uh, this, and I don't want to get you in trouble. So why don't I give you my number, and if you feel like it, you can call me. And that way I can take you out for a drink, and thank you for saving my life. Okay. Yeah, that works. Sure. Uh, here, take that. Go. So she never mentioned a boyfriend? She had one, she never talked about him. Family? Pretty much a blank there, too. All right, we'll check. How long before you get the DNA? I'm expediting the STR analysis. Uh, soon, I hope. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Hey. Hi. I'm Toby Logan. I was here the other night. Yeah, Saturday. You hooked up with Mina. Adriana, nice to meet you. Uh, you were friends with Mina, right? Yeah, yeah, we hang out. You know her friend Jason? Jason Cullen. Wait, I really think I should reconsider this. Please, please. get off the go. I just want to talk. talk. Yeah, I, I think she's busting that party. Cullen, he's, uh, he's tall, dark hair? Yeah, that's him. Don't let him creep you out. He's a bit of a freak. Yeah, you know where I can find him? Phone number? Anything? I'm sorry, he's not on my radar. I'm not really sure what Mina saw in him. But listen, if you're interested in Mina, go for it. You haven't heard? Heard what? Yeah, this is a message for uh, Detective Marks. It's Toby Logan. I know the last name of Mina's boyfriend. Thanks. Jason Cullen, please! We have a warrant! Detective, heads up! Got it. read about Mina's murder. I know it looks bad for me. Right, your sexual assault charge is in Hamilton. With the not guilty verdict. Uh. Hey, do I know you? I don't think so. Focus, Jason. You have an assault arrest and Mina's dead. I didn't kill her. She was your girlfriend. She was a friend. She was strangled and we have your DNA. Go home. Go get out. How did you even get up here? You go to her place? What? <laughs> you grab her by the throat? Excuse me? Go let go of me! Toby, back off. If you want to get in front of this, Jason, now's the time. Okay, okay, I can explain. Yes, I was at her place, and yes, we had an argument. She broke up with me at the club for some guy. I went to her place, and the guy was obviously there. So you had an argument with her because she was talking to another guy? No. What then? We had issues. What kind of issues? Relationship issues. Everybody has them, yeah? Not everybody winds up dead. All I did was shove her on. Harvey, you're five in the morning! Let go of me! Let go of me! Who was the guy? Get out, Get out of my heart! Fine, I will! I had enough, so I left. I swear she was alive. Sorry, detective. You can have him back after I check him. Okay, thank you. Oz, do have a hand here? Yeah. Hey. Dr. Barnes, neurology. Dr. Barnes, neurology. What the hell was that? So you still think I did it? What makes you think I'm looking at you as a suspect? Oh, are you? Not as much as yesterday? You no, know, I think you're completely wrong about this Jason Cullen guy. You mean Jason Cullen, the guy with the history of sexual assault? Yeah, it doesn't make him a killer. So it doesn't make him? See, I don't know him. I'm not a cop. You know what? I saw him with her that night, and I heard his voice, and he wasn't talking murder. I bet you your badge, he didn't strangle.
strangulation is the cause of death. Jason Collins swears Mina was alive when he left her. Is it possible we're missing something? Like what? I don't know, some alternative to strangulation, maybe? Well, it's possible. Uh, well, let's say she had uh, a pre-existing condition. Like? Well, sometimes an artery in the neck is, is twisted. It's a, it's a birth defect, not uncommon. Mina had it. She did. In the carotid artery. I, I'm sorry I saw it, but I didn't think it was relevant. Well, it wouldn't be, unless she had arterial plaque. It could have dislodged when he grabbed her neck. When the plaque gets to the brain, it could then trigger cerebral ischemia, which would enlarge the brain, and then shut down the lungs, making it seem like strangulation. So when Colin left, Mina could have been alive. Pinpointing the time of death closely is hard, but it's possible that Mina's death could have occurred after Colin left. What you look at? What? Is that, who's that from? I know. It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. The peanut lady. Oh, yeah. She gave me her number. That's good. Are you going to give her a call? I don't know. I want to. It's just a little... It's weird. How, how, how is that weird? I don't, I don't know. Don't read my mind. I'm not going to read your mind. Yeah, you are. You think I know why I'm not going to call her and you're going to do the little Jedi mind trick thing? And... Hey, listen. If you don't want to call a girl... I want to. I just don't want to. Mr. Bay! Are we in trouble here? Mr. Bay? Have a visitor. Hey, Osman. Devil. Hey. Your boss was nice enough to let me bring you these. Thanks. My pleasure. I um just wanted to thank you. You know, for saving my life. Wow. Thanks, Liz. That's well, nice. It's a box full of oranges. Well, I, I didn't know what to get you, and I figured who doesn't like oranges? <laughs> it's a dumb gift, right? No, no, it's great. It's great. I, I, don't, I don't eat enough oranges. Oh, and I also got you these from work. I didn't know exactly what you'd like, so there's a little bit of everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. I can, I can listen to these while I make juice. OK. Speaking of work, I should get back. I'll see you soon. OK. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give her a call. <sighs> My first wife was crazy, too. Oh, Mr. Ryder, she's not crazy. She's in love. They all are at first. And then what happens? Three kids, a mortgage, and a minivan in the driveway. In a nutshell, Mr. Bay, the rest of your life. He's happy with his life choices. Maybe he doesn't get enough vitamin C. Hey. I, I could totally remedy that situation right here. <laughs> In her apartment. It's like you were shooting a documentary. Yeah, it's just a video I took on my phone. We're having a good time. Man. What's this? Well, it, it's part of my process. I, I just I clip images and I, I try to sort them out of my head. That's what's going on in there? Not exactly, but uh, it's the closest I can get. People's thoughts are all mixed up, you know, so I try to pull images from different places and sort them out. It's crazy. They're good crazy. I mean, this is some pretty cool stuff. Is that the boyfriend? Yeah, it's Jason Cullen. He didn't do it. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure as I can be. In the ambulance, I got a hit off what he was thinking that night. When he left, Mina was still alive. Hmm. Who's this guy? I don't know. She couldn't stop thinking about him that night. Maybe a family member? Sugar daddy, maybe? No, I don't think so. Man, you pasted this guy together like 20 times. It's creepy. I know. Nagging at her. Like that? That? Nothing. Nothing. It's just boring work stuff. I can't shake it. Maybe you should try to find him. I mean, if Colin doesn't know what happened to me, this guy just might. Hey, is there anything new on Mina? Is that your way of rubbing it in? What are you talking about? I don't know how you figured it out, but the coroner backed you up. Mina died of a pre-existing condition. And yes, we're still going to charge Jason Cullen with manslaughter charges. So if you're happy now, go away. No, Cullen didn't do it. Toby, I don't need this. And you don't need me and my boss in your face right now. What did I do to you? You walked through the door. Yeah, I want to talk to you. About what? I want to show you this. Something that your three-year-old nephew pasted together? It's very funny. I don't have a nephew. No, this is a collage of a guy I saw outside Mina's apartment. The night that she was murdered, you saw this guy outside the apartment? Yeah. 
he, well, he looks a lot like this. His face, his eyes are all very similar to this. Yeah, I get it. So? So, you should look for this guy. Maybe he's the killer. Because he was outside of her apartment? Yeah, maybe. Toby, did you see him coming out of the apartment? Did he look nervous? Was he trying to flee the scene? No. Then don't waste my time and let me do my job. Boy, to my wife. He said he saw somebody outside the dead girl's apartment the night that she died. Well, that's convenient. He even brings his own suspects. Get the guy a badge. You don't think Toby. Toby? He's not a killer. He's given us some good information. Why? Let's just get off on being a super sleuth, is that it? Or is there something else? Like what? I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe he's a death group or something. It's... Maybe he's just helping this stuff along. You know, he's also a step ahead of us. Toby's not a killer, and he's certainly not setting up any crimes. All right, well, then you better ask yourself, what the hell is he? This thing is useless. I give up. I'm thinking we might have to go back up the stairs here. What do you mean, up the stairs? He means, sir, we can't clear the landing, so we're gonna have to go back up and try again. You guys do this for a living? On three. Right. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, that was impressive. Ah, thank you. All right. Take five. Take five? I could be paralyzed here, for God's sake. Sir, we don't think it's anything more than a mild back strain. You'll be fine. So no luck with the old guy, eh? No. I mean, I'm thinking there's got to be a way to identify this guy. Something. Something. Text from Liz. Yeah? You gonna call her? I don't know. She, uh, she seems to really like me. That's a problem? Yes, that's a problem. Normally, the way it works, I meet a girl, we exchange numbers, nobody calls, you pretend you don't like each other. It's a delicate dance. This girl, there's no games. She's hot, she's smart, she wears really high heels. She freaks you out. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's like an actual woman. woman. Maybe she's freaked out, too. Maybe you need to reflect on a future with someone that's transgressed your normal patina. And this guy you're trying to ID. Have you run him through the cop database? I mean, you're EMS guys, for God's sake. She must have some connections. Now, take me the hell to the hospital. Still Yeah, yeah. Transgressed right. my normal patina? What the hell's a patina? <laughs> Where you better be. He has a beef soup and chats. Chat time varies. All right, so go in, go get a beef soup and slow him down. Oh, no. no he's terrifying. You're on your own. Thanks. Hey, if he catches you, can I have your loft? He always looking out for me. I love you. In teams, one undercover, one uniform. You see my partner in that. Who's that? George Arthur Worthy. Is he a bad guy? Actually, he's a dead guy. Cool. About a month ago. Hey, dude. Here comes your uh, partner. <laughs> Find the guy? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead? Yeah, he died a month ago. Well, Mina worked with Stiffs, right? Yeah, but the name, Worthy. What you, have you seen that? Worthy. Remember that from. Worthy. Oh, you're brilliant. I am? Mina, I made this little little video of Mina. What? There it is. 
See that? Let's get to Mina's. We're four. Mina was on to something. We gotta find out what it was. Yeah. Didn't the cops have checked these phones? Yeah, but they wouldn't have known what they're looking at. Here, George Arthur Worthy. She says cause of death was multiple organ failure brought on by class four congestive heart failure. So? So this must be Mina's handwriting. Looks like she was questioning the autopsy results. Shined by the Farrell pathologist. Great, let's go. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Stephen Cash, Sandra Lemon. Looks like they've all got her handwriting on it. We don't have time to go through all those. I can bring these with me. It's not that I object to going to jail, I just like to enjoy the act that got me there. Should I even ask? Well, I'm just updating some EMS files. Oh, yeah. Who is George Worthy and why are you looking at his file? All right. The EMS brought him in about a month ago with heart problems. His autopsy said he had class four congestive heart failure. Right. Right. So class four means you're almost going to die, right? Yeah. Well, his medical file says that he was nowhere near that sick. Let me see. Yeah, actually, you're right. At worst, this guy was a two. What does that mean? What is... Easily treatable. Okay, so his autopsy's wrong. Take a look at this. An autopsy. Whose notes are these? These are Mina's. She thought the mistakes were deliberate. Well, looks like she might have been onto something. Really? Looks like she might have actually found the real cause of death. What was that? Medical error. They gave this guy a dye test and didn't prep him properly, and the kidneys overloaded. He died, and the autopsy makes no mention of it. Is that an accident? No. Yeah. There's no way. And it's signed by Liam Farrell. Okay. All right. Mina was one of my pathologists. Do you have any idea how big this is? We're talking about a cover-up at a major government agency. If there are any more cases like well, this... Well, there are. Mina was about to blow the whistle. Somebody try to shut her up. Hey, I know why Mina was killed. Illegal access to police files from a patrol car break and entry at a crime scene? No. She found out about these autopsies. They're total fiction. That's a serious thing to say. I'm told all three are fakes. They could be hiding anything, including murder. Mina knew about this? She was about to turn them in before she was killed. Turn who in? Her boss, Liam Farrell. His name's on every one of those. How far does this go? What do you mean? Well, we have three fake autopsies. How many more are there? Sure. Had to be enough worth killing Mina over. This is ridiculous. Why would I kill her? Protecting the other doctors. They're good people. They don't deserve to be ruined. But murder... No. What you've done is allow those doctors who made those mistakes to keep on making them and kill more patients. Look, I told you, I will confess to the cover-ups, to the tampering. I know. We don't need you to confess. We already have our case. What you can do is tell us how you killed Mina. I didn't. I had motive. She would have ruined you. I would never have killed her. Right? You're under arrest for evidence tampering. Toby, what are you still doing hey, here? Hey, Not for the murder, but we'll nail him. Poor Mina. Who could have done this? I guess I should admit that you're right. I... My kids don't know where I am. Toby. What am I going to do? Toby? Yeah? I just want to say you're right. You're wrong. 
What? I mean, I was wrong. He didn't do it. I've had enough of this. Oh, please wait, okay? Just get a second autopsy. What for? Trust me. What's this all about? I don't know. I was just told to pick up Mina Delacroce's body. Something about another autopsy. No, you can't take her. I just prepped her for the funeral home. Sorry. Something about an independent examination. <laughs> Apparently, they're looking for another wound uh, at the back of the head. They won't no. check out. There was nothing I checked. Well, I'm going to have to take her. Wait. Do you have any paperwork for this? Uh, I think it was faxed earlier. I never got it. Well, it's not my problem. I'm sorry. No! No, no, I can't take her. Stop. Please don't. I'll lose everything. What do you mean? I never meant to hurt her. I want you to You're gonna believe it? Yeah, I have to. I, I, I never meant to hurt her. I, I just pushed her, that's all. And she fell. And hit her head. I, I didn't want for her to... I just wanted for her to stop. Stop what? Stop what, Brenda? You're lying. It's, it's not a mistake. mistake. You signed off three different on cases. false autopsies. You lied. I've done nothing. They're not mistakes. Brenda, did you know about this? I'm not leaving anyone out of this. You know who's going to expose your boss? Liam's a great man. And she would have destroyed him. I only did this to protect him. Come on. Nice play. She's missing. What about her? See that girl dancing right there? She was totally checking me out earlier. You should do your usual little mojo and see if she likes me. Last time, I promise. She's not your type, brother. You can hear that from here? No, I can see it. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, I'm getting a, getting a hit here. There's, uh, there's a chick here who was really into the eyes, man, man. Yeah. Elizabeth, you came. I got your message. Hey. I, I, I thought it, it, it took too long to call it's you okay, back. Oz. I think it'll be worth the wait. I uh, hope you've been eating all your oranges. You're gonna need the energy. I'm gonna need the energy <laughs> from the oranges. 